What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys four template sources where you can get free Elementor templates. Now the first one that we're going to be going over is Astra. Now Astra does have a lot to choose from. Some of them are on their pro version and you do have to pay for those and those are just the ones that say agency but the ones that don't say agency are the ones you can download for free. And I'm just going to go over quickly how to install and download a template. So the first thing that you need to do is head over to your plugins and then go ahead and click on add new and then just search for Astra starter sites or you can just type in Astra and then go ahead and, and install this plugin here and then activate it. Now what we need to do is go over to appearance and then go to starter sites. And now go ahead and choose your um, builder, which is Elementor. Now we have all these templates that we can choose from, except for the one to say agency. Now, let's say I wanna go ahead and choose this template here. So I would go ahead and click on this. And then you're gonna wanna click on import complete site and then click import and then start importing the website. Now I'm not going to go over exactly how to import all of that. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can just go through this process. If you don't have some of these uh, plugins installed, it's going to install it for you. And it's going to install basically everything you need. Now that's pretty much um, it for Astra. The next one that I'm going to be going over is called Plox Pro. Now for the most part, you'll find a good amount of free templates here, but some of them are on the pro version, which you do have to pay for. The ones that are free are just the ones that say free on here. Now in order to download these templates, what we need to do is download the theme. So go ahead and click on download here and then just go ahead and download that theme and then head over to your dashboard and then go to appearance and go to themes and then go ahead and click on add new and then click on upload and then choose your theme. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down and choose my blocks theme here. I'm just gonna choose any of these. They're all the same. So I'm gonna install it now and then I'm gonna go ahead and um, Activate it. And then we're going to want to install their uh, their Plox Core plugin. Okay, now we're all set. Now head over to Demo Importer here. Now we have all these templates that we can choose from, except for the ones that say Pro. So you can go ahead. Let me just actually use the first one here. So if you did want to download this one here, go ahead and click on Import. And then just go ahead and click on Continue and then go through the, the process of installing the plugins and also um, installing all the, all the necessary um, templates that you need to install. And that's pretty much how you would go ahead and um, get those templates um, imported. There are quite a bit to choose from and they're also really nice. So I highly suggest checking this one out. Now I will have links to all of these down in the description. You guys can also check those out down there. Now the next one that we're gonna be going over is called Envato templates and then go ahead and type in Envato and you're going to want to install this one right here it's called Envato elements photos and elementor templates and then activate it and then now if we go to elements here go ahead and click on that now you're gonna to wanna to just click on a free template kits. And now we can view all the template kits on here. Now these ones are a little bit different. You can click install in here and then you can view the kit as well. And you can see all of these that we can, that we can use. This one you will have to add individually to each page. Um, so let me show you guys how that would work. So go to your pages. I'm gonna create a new page here. And I'm just gonna name this one home publish this and then I'm going to edit this with Elementor then down here we'll notice this this little leaf icon just go ahead and click on that and then go over to free kits over here and you can choose from any of these these are all free let's say I want to go ahead and choose um, I want to choose uh, this one here so I'm going to go ahead and click on install and then I'm going to view the kit then I'm going to look for the home page since I just created my home. So I'm going to view this as well and take a look and see, okay, this looks nice. 
and then I'm just going to insert this template here and then we have it now of course make sure that you go to your settings and you set this to um, full you got to set this to full width so elementor full width there and we click publish now we haven't set our footer and header so that's why this isn't set up yet but once you create your footer and header you can easily set that set that up at the top let me go ahead and view this now now you'd basically do the same process for the rest of the pages just create the page and then just um go ahead and upload the template so you can tell that's all set now and you can go in here and just start editing any of the content now the next one that we're going to go over is called elements kit it's pretty similar to uh the process that we did with um with Envato. so head over to your plugins click on add new and then go ahead and type in elements kits and then go ahead and install now and then activate it with this one you can actually create a header and footer for free i do have a video on that on my channel so you guys can go ahead and check that out now from here we're going to go ahead and just go to our pages and we're going to create another page here and this will be just another home page i'm going to call this home 2 and then I'm going to edit this with Elementor. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose this red icon here. Go ahead and click on that. And then we have this, these uh, templates to choose from. Some of them are free and uh, some of them are on the pro version. Whenever you hover over something, you'll notice it'll say, it'll say go pro or it'll say insert. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here that's free. So click insert. And there we have it. Now we have our template added here. I'm going to go ahead and make this, make sure this is full width. And there it is. Let me go ahead and some things might be a little bit buggy as you can tell the text. You can't really see the text there. For the most part, um the templates do look pretty good. There we go. Okay, now it's the way it works on here. So there we go. So everything is all set in this um page is looking great, except for the header, which we can add later on. But that is pretty much it for this video. Like I mentioned earlier, I will have links to all this all these templates down in the description so you guys can go ahead and check those out as always if you did enjoy this video make sure to like the video and subscribe and thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video